Wow, praise God, praise God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My dear, beloved people of God, I'm so excited to be coming your way once again. I'm a bearer of good news. I bring you glad tidings every day as I read from Rhapsody of Realities because it contains the Word of God. Rhapsody of Realities is written by Pastor Chris Oyakilome, DSC, DSC, and it's been in print for the past 24 years, having been translated into every known language of the world, 8,123 languages and over 4,000 dialects. My name is Bolani Olukorede. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today, night of August, Pastor is sharing with us, things have changed. What changed? Let us pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your omnipotent. Thank you because you are, oh, you are the invincible God. Thank you for your word that never fails. I give you praise today for everyone that will be sharing me even today they will move forward they will make progress as they hear god's word and they put it to work thank you father in jesus name amen pastor says things have changed mark chapter 16 verse 15 says and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he didn't say to every man he said every creature any living thing anything preach the gospel preach the gospel the lord jesus sent us to preach the gospel the gospel is good news it's not exactly good news when all you hear or no is God is going to change things for you that hope but the good news is that things have changed glory be to God so stop hoping for things to change because they've already they've already changed ah hallelujah this should further help you understand what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You are not the weak seeking strength. The Lord himself has become your strength. Hallelujah. Psalm 27 verse 1 says it, said the Lord is my strength, the strength of my life. Praise God. Perhaps you were sickly before you were born again. Now that has changed. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. You are a new creature in Christ with an incorruptible life that is sickness proof. Ha! The same change occurred in your finances. Your state and estate changed when you came into Christ. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty might be rich did he do all these things did they happen yes they did furthermore that you through his poverty might be rich you have been made rich glory to god furthermore you don't have a problem with sin now that you are in Christ. You've been justified to walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 6 verse 4 says, Therefore, 
we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Wow. The same nature was supplanted by God's nature of righteousness when you were born again. You are now not just righteous, but also the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. See yourself in this light. You weren't merely set free from sin. You have a life, a nature that is sin free. Oh, the word of God is sweet. You now have a sin free nature. As in, when you say something is sin free, Doesn't sin is is free of that. Is is like um um, um vat free. This person is exempted. It doesn't. This thing does not have vat on it. Do you get? So what we have is not that um we are just made righteous. No, is a nature that we received. Is called the righteousness of God. It's a nature. And you cannot improve on that nature. Just like you cannot improve on being human. Say, uh, when a baby is go, is born, say, it will, be, it, will be, it will be turning to more human. No, it's already a human being. It's already a human being. So why is he not talking like every other person? Why is he being carried everywhere? Why, he can, why is he... He couldn't walk, he's working on force. It's because he's learning. He's a newborn. So he's learning this life. This life is 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 growing. So also. But that he will become more human. No. He won't become more human. The same way. When you go born again, you have the nature of God. You cannot become more God. Got a nature more righteous it's a nature praise god the sin nature pastor said was supplanted by god's nature yes so it's like an it's like an exchange coming from a sin having a sin nature and god supplanted with his own nature praise god hallelujah there are some of the realities for the one who is born again you didn't do anything to achieve any of this. It's simply the result of what Christ has done. And that's good news. Hallelujah. It's a good news. Shout it on the mountain top. Things have changed now. I'm no more the same person again. Things have changed. I'm no more um, sinner. No. Things have changed. I have the nature of God now. Praise God. I'm not the sick trying to get well. No, sir. I am now the healthy one because I have the life of God in me now. I'm not the poor trying to be rich. No. I know I have an inheritance in Christ now. Glory be to God. This is good news. It is good news. Shout it. Tell everyone. Don't be quiet about it. This is why I'm not quiet. This is why I'm reading this aloud to you today. That things have changed. My brothers and my sisters, things have changed. What Jesus is death, what God said his death will do, Jesus' death and his resurrection will do, he did it. He accomplished it. So everything has changed. Bravo! Wow, 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 wow. If you want to experience this supernatural life of God, where everything and anything can change because you said so, because of the word of God, all you need to do is to get born again. You need to have the life of God. And it can happen now here 
and now. What will you have to do? Just to say God's word. Speak word of God and the eternal life will be imparted to your spirit. So if you are ready, I'm ready to lead you in salvation the Bible way. All you need to say is do is to say after me. Say, Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. For him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. If you said that prayer, God heard you and it takes you very, very seriously. So I welcome you to the family of God. You are now a child of God. There's a book I would like you to read. Download it right away. It's called Now That You're Born Again. The details are already scrolling. Go ahead and download and start learning this new life that you have received today. Praise God. Let's take today's confession together. I continually walk in the reality of my heritage and identity in Christ. I'm righteous, I'm healthy, I'm prosperous, I'm victorious. I walk in the newness of life, enjoying the fullness of the blessings of Christ. Hallelujah. What a glorious life we have in Christ Jesus. Wow. Thank you for joining today's episode. Thank you for being a part of today's study of God's word through Rhapsody of Realities written by Pastor Chris Oyakilomi. Till I come your way again tomorrow, know that everything has changed and you have the life of God. God bless you.